So for the relationships and normalization, so there are some other things, so there's the entity, a thing about which there is a need to record data and attribute a property of an entity. So for the relationships, there's an entity relationship diagram which shows how entities are related to one another. In, it is indicated by the use of lines drawn in the entities. Relationship between the entities are either a one-to-one, -one, so in this example there's the one owner to dog, so the owner owns a dog. One-to-many, so the owner to many dogs, so the owner owns many dogs. Many-to-one, many owners own a dog. And then many-to-many -many is where many owners own many dogs. But for the many-to-many -many relationship, that isn't really accepted, that one that I've got at the moment, since it needs to be, it is not accepted in the third normalised form, so you need to add a bridge. So you need to have the owner to a many-owner dog, then a many to a dog. So this avoids the duplication of data. So normalization is a process by which many to many relationships are replaced and duplicate data is avoided. Third normalized form contains no functional dependencies between the attributes other than the primary keys. So primary key. It limits duplication of data and it removes multiple valued attributes. Right, and so the next video is on the DMS uh, yeah, DBMS, the DDL and DML. So that's just like the management of the database. Thanks for watching this video.